What's up guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video we're talking about true uh, stories and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about So basically what happens is a buddy of mine calls me up and he's like dude would you want to hook up and go to the bar and I was like yeah sure why not I because back then I used to drink more uh, often than I do now and he was like dude you want to hook up and go to the local bar and I was like yeah the local bar is cool because I didn't want to go traveling across town where the other bars were that were um, more popping and had actually like a live band who played there so I went to this little bar where local people hang out and you have a little pool table so it wasn't anything fancy or anything like that but I ended up going to this bar and having a few drinks with my friend at this point I'll let you know he had like three shots of whiskey three shots of tequila a couple beers and my friend was a dude that can actually handle his liquor and drink a lot and he didn't feel it and that's just the way he is he's a he's a, a six foot two hundred and eighty pound dude and he's a, a Mexican guy and Mexican dudes can drink a hell of a lot and I only had maybe one beer maybe two at the most because I wasn't feeling like drinking that night I was just okay we're gonna go hang out and have a good time so I had one or two beers and we proceeded to drink and have a good time talking uh, just tell some stories and around about 11 30 12 because the, here in America the bars close around 2 a.m. and um, basically we walked outside because he wanted a cigarette and he checked his uh, pockets and he left his cigarettes at home so he didn't have any cigarettes on him so um, pretty much what he did is there was this uh, girl outside she was more on the thick side she wasn't fat or she wasn't really ugly from what I remember and he was like, excuse me, honey, uh, can I borrow a cigarette? You know, like when you're at a bar and you're just hanging out and there's a lot of people that are drinking, you just ask to borrow a cigarette. There's nothing wrong with that. And I don't smoke, so he was like, eh, would I be able to borrow a cigarette? And she, she pulls out her cigarette and she's lighting it and she looks at him and goes, what'd you say? He's like, can I borrow a cigarette? And she repeats herself again. What did I, what did you say? And he goes, is it possible if I borrow a cigarette? And she says it one more time. She goes, excuse me, what did you really say? And he's like, all I'm doing is asking if I can borrow a, cig a cigarette. And he said she's out of cigarettes. And he basically was like, oh, okay, that's fine. That's cool. And he proceeded to uh, just talk to me and just chill outside because it was a nice sunny night uh, in the summer. So we were just standing outside around 11, 30, 12 o'clock where it was still uh, warm outside. And she basically looked at him and goes, what, you don't fucking believe me? And my friend's like, no, 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 it's cool. I, I, I don't want a cigarette now, it's fine. Because my friend didn't want to be confrontational. And I'll put it this way, my friend's an uh, MMA fighter, so he didn't want to be confrontational and start a, 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 a bar fight or anything like that. And she goes, well, here's my purse, it's, it's empty, I don't got no more cigarettes. And he's like, I told you, it's okay. So this girl proceeds to go back into the uh, bar Apparently her friend just showed up, so I guess he's sober, or maybe he had a drink or two before he got to the bar, so uh, he was way more sober than my friend was, and he comes walking out, she points right at my friend, and he walks in with, So what, you call my son a fat bitch? Whoa, what are you talking about? I was sitting there too, and I was like, and I was like, really? And before my friend really even had any, any chance to do anything, this dude threw a frog punch knocking my friend down and then proceeded to ground and pound him if you don't know what ground and pound is he was laying on him and he started to do this this lashing punches and I had to get him in like a full Nelson which is pretty much a real wrestling move and throw the dude off him and let you guys know I'm, I'm 5 foot 4 145 pounds and this dude is a lot bigger than me but I physically grabbed him because I'm a strong dude for my weight and threw him off and told him get the F off my friend and he looked at me he was like what you want something and I was like nah you do. and uh, my friend basically because we were only like five or ten minutes from the house he gets up off his ass and fucking walks back home 
And the moral of the story is, my friend has uh, composure from being uh, a martial artist and training martial arts. And if he was sober, my friend would have beat the crap out of this guy. And this guy didn't even ask any questions. And was the girl ugly? Not from what I remember, she wasn't ugly and she wasn't fat. But I think just because my friend asked her for a cigarette and she said no. And he's like, oh, okay, cool. She took it as he was giving her attitude. And she goes in and tells her friend that we were calling her a fat bitch when no one ever said anything like that. And so with that said, guys, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. It helps out the channel, man. And if you guys have any drunk stories, I would love to hear about them with the video response. Or you can hit me up in the comment section below with a comment. Tell me what your story is. But honestly, I'll have three more videos with some funny-ass drunk stories that, um happen to me so uh, I'll definitely see you guys in the next video but let me know what happened on your drunk stories peace on the street son